La vidéo elle est ici, je l'ouvre avec VLC, ok. Euh...
Et puis après... Okay, can you all hear me? Hello and welcome. I'm very pleased and excited to have you all uh, now at ISHEC. Um, so I would like to give a warm welcome to our 76 innovators. A warm welcome to our jury members. Thank you for being here. And a big thank you to all B Culture Consortium and our 16 mayoral regions. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Okay. We experienced together three intensive, really intense also, days of a hackathon. Our participants tried their best to co-create, co-develop, and co-test together. Right, Philippe? And um, we tried to provide as much as possible our assistance in terms of facilitation and coaching. In the first day, they mapped the context, they mapped the value chain, and the stakeholders, uh, they carried out the stakeholder mapping and started testing the desirability of their solution. On the second day, they started with an inspirational se session. We provided some inspirational examples. And then they moved into ideation mode and prototyping and then testing. Lastly, today, it was a very, very, very tiring day for everyone, but I think also very exciting. For some of them, it was unfortunately a little bit frustrating because we were asking too many things at the same time. But uh, we're not expecting to have perfect solutions because we are going into four months of acceleration where everyone will have the opportunity to deep dive in their solutions. So today, every team um, had the opportunity to, um, to speak in a one minute video about their solution while the other team members were uh, working on refining their viability aspects um, and in terms of monetization and on defining the impacts of their solution and visualizing their business model. So it was a short but at the same time long journey. We would like to warmly again thank our 76 innovators for their commitment <laughs> for their smiles and tears <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I'm very pleased to start with the 19 videos to give you all an idea about what they've been developing in these three days. Enjoy. Sorry, we still have some technical issues. Please bear, bear with us. <laughs> voilà.
it's a Camino Lucano in Vulture. We have uh, a to promote a slow uh, method of uh, travel uh, for uh, a new way of pilgrimage. Uh, we packed uh, in the places uh, in Murphy, Barile, Rapolla, uh, Monticchio, uh, in Rionero in Vulture, Riba Candida, Ginestra and uh, in the end uh, Atella and uh, San Fele. Uh, these places are related with uh, um, Basilian uh, monks who came from Greece in the old age and they studied the um, stars, uh, so it's a new way of the pilgrimage related uh, in, in connection with the Pleiades. Uh, about uh, our solution, uh, we want to um, promote a slow way uh, of pilgrimage that you can take with uh, by workers, uh, bikers, uh, horses, uh, and uh, everything uh, you want. Our solution aims to activate cultural exchanges for students from all around the EU and from different knowledge fields in Vultere Area in Basilicata. The main purpose is to address the population issues in this rural area um, through making um, students design innovative and uh, sustainable projects, uh, in, particular, in particular focusing on cultural tourism. In collaboration with the University of Basilicata, um, local municipalities and local entrepreneurs, we aim to make this area more uh, attractive from a touristic point of view. And um, the first main project will be the regeneration of an empty building that will become the hub for the project and the projects that will uh, come in the following years. So, what we say is live, learn and live. Hi, Fleon is a novelty proposal by Julius. We use uh, um, diverse uh, technology. The first technology is uh, um, drones and visor. We fly on offers the virtual uh, tour and um, uh, we go to uh, the tourists for to visit the natural area. Um, we are from to southern Italy and we work it in the many places like to Gravina and uh, Matera. If you want to come in, um, in my place for to try the innovative uh, tourism, we, we are to for you and um, with the uh, Freon you everybody you can fly. Do you know that we are surrounded by millions and millions of stars and from your city you can hardly see the one percent of the stars that is surrounding you because of the air pollution and the artificial light? Hi, we are the Eco Glamping team from Teruel and we want to share all our stars with all of you. Hi, I am Alberto. Every year a few thousands of tourists pass through driving our territory but very few stay at night with us. We want to change that. We want them to stay at night with us in a very special place. We want them to have a nice dinner, cook in the fire and then sleep in a glass dome with a glass ceiling. Our stars Waiting for you. See you there. See you there. The okay, bye. Hi, I'm Ismail Pizarro. I'm representing Ariel Skate team, team. And our proposal is to bring a student from whole Europe to this pilot rural area. In the way, um, creating an architecture and landscape office to create positive impact project on the uh, in, in, in this area. Uh, in other hand, we are going to create uh, also workshop to offer this student practical training that is something that they are demanding on. This student could rent some empty house because we have a really mm, big problem of empty house in this area. So they are, will be able to rent these rooms and this house to local people and uh, this uh, will create new relationship between young people and elder people and locals and foreign people. 
We are the sisters Bea and Sara, the team called La Chica Cabeza de Bosque. We want to generate benefits and enriching tourism experience of rural environment in Teruel. We are mixing textile and nature and mental health. We've been researching ancestral textile techniques and we have been knowing the fields through the collecting leaves, plants, flowers and waste food to create sensual experiences. We love technique and we want to share with others all the knowledge about our region. We are so involved in mental health because the techniques we use are helps to feel better. We apply mindful techniques and in the process. We have been a global and collaborative point of view. We want to involve people in Teruel and attract people from other places in Spain. Our values are using products, giving the value of forgotten territories and techniques, self-care and creating positive impact. Good morning, we are representing Larnaca Rural Area. Our challenge is the sustainable development of the honey roots and the development of a tiny historical village with honey-based economy. Our solution is a sensory nature betrayal, the only one uh, in Europe. We are creating uh, a new experience which will be consisting of big hotels, a historical water fountain, stories and legends of the region, knowledge and info awareness points about the bees and bee-friendly herbs and flowers. The only sensory trail designed for families, schools and, kids and children with special needs in a deprived area with limited activities for children. The impact will be that it will increase the flow of tourism in the area and will preserve the culture, history and biodiversity of the Hanyanots. By integrating technology and solar energy in a historical site. Welcome to the magical world of peace. We are the Needle Festival and our solution is based on the underdeveloped rural area of Pervoya Lamaga. We strongly feel that uh, Cypriot monoculture is lost in the midst of our past and its pain that still holds power over us. We are committed to designing an interactive physical platform that will act as a hub for artists to create and present their work allowing both local and foreign tourists of all ages and backgrounds who visit to observe, enjoy and even take part in the process. We strive to present work of undervalued artists from all communities in order to form a genuine representation of Cypriot culture. With the diffusion of culture in Bavaria, we enhance the social cohesion of the region, providing sustainable employment opportunities and career prospects which aid to build a resilient and pluralistic social market economy. Our main ingredient is of course the arts. Historically, art has acted as a window to communities' feelings, thoughts and struggles. It is a driving force in debate generation and progression. We are here because we believe that our Cypriot mindset might need some updates. And yes, change is unavoidably uncomfortable, but through a small prick of the needle, we can carefully sew the present to our past in order to shape our future. As in, welcome to Larnaca Region Cyprus. We want to be the facilitators that reach rural culture and practice as practiced by locals, and make it practically accessible to everyone else to like it and experience. Step forward the platform to bridge the gap between uh, consumers, cultural conscious individuals will be based on technology, as in a website and application. However, technology will be just the facilitator. The actual product will be the experience as practiced by locals from generation to generation. How is traditional halloumi is made? How is biological honey extracted? How does locals have fun in rural areas? Based on financial empowerment of locals, we wish to fight urbanization, safeguarding heritage transfer, and enhance circular economy, while in the process, promote a financial viable business solution for Talusorisi. Thus, we come down to our model. We are the facilitators for everyone to embrace customs, traditions, and heritage. Hey, 
och välkomna till Forsvik and the beautiful Swedish countryside with its lakes and forests, but lack of creative working and leisure spaces. My name is Kolle Schadenberg and I'm presenting you the idea of Forsvik's cultural, heritage, art and interway innovation centre, Chase, which is to develop the current historical buildings and entrepreneurs of Forsvik's brick foundry within an already existing and sustainable environment within ecological thinking. We are going to provide rooms for individual use, coaching, workshops, cultural events and shows, exhibitions, tools and machines for handcraft, food facilities and virtual reality to open up Forschwick and its rural energy. Short, we are doing a communal hub for locals and transformative tourism, including all ages helping people to grow. So let us use the knowledge of the past to actively create a new synergy in the present to chase a brighter, innovative future. Thank you and vote. Hi, we are Provabu long-term rentals in Västra Jotland region and we want to make it easier to move to the countryside. In Sweden, small local communities in rural areas are in need of more residents for a thriving society. Also, many house owners have space to create rentals within their existing homes. More and more people are now willing to move to out from the big cities, but the problem is to know where. Our project matches local communities with potential new residents. This platform, compared to Airbnb, is focusing on long-term rentals where the resident can try to live in a place for 6 to 12 months. It promotes social relations and cultural connection instead of selling objects. Part of the rent also goes straight into community development projects. By lowering the thresholds of moving uh, both financially, socially and mentally, we're hoping that more people take the step of finding a home in the countryside. Thank you. Thank you. How do contemporary artists develop their practice, sustain their innovation and support collaboration with new networks across Europe? Hello, my name is Christina from Sweden and the project Create, Design and Engage. We are an international team from Rydal, Västra Götaland, Sweden and Solterre, UK, building on our collaboration that began in 2018. This is rooted, rooted in our common past industrial heritage, but more importantly, the needs and concerns we have identified amongst locals from both places who are preserving, but also innovating with their heritage today. This project places artists at its heart through professional development, networking, encouraging innovation and building collaboration between textile artists, specifically weavers, locals and visitors from both countries. Both digitally and through face-to-face -face collaboration, there will be participatory, co-created community weaving events and artist change. Larger scale projects will follow such as hiking weaving trade between local towns around Rydal, taking in the Swedish rural landscape. Artists from both countries will co-create with, with and engage visitors as they walk the route which will foreground the natural landscape. Slow living, slow food, textile histories and futures. Ruskink A times 4 times 4 in its name contains the dimensions of a box which awaits the tourist who visits the Eriks, Svenska, Karolsi and Vaj pilot region. The one who opens the box enters a map of 32 locations which hide 32 stories of glorious history and 32 varietal wines that can be tasted there. The box also contains 32 cards which uh, help the tourist uh, have a choice uh, to travel by luck or to travel on their own. Uh, the three municipalities are integrated into one pilot heritage site whose main characteristic is the rich cultural heritage 
which um, reflects the soul of the 25 peoples of the multi-ethnic community that has lived in the area for centuries. Frushkin, 8 times 4 times 4, open the box. For our project Cultural Overload on the Rerig Road, we are developing a mixed reality application which is providing tourists with immersive experience. The application has a goal to structure and unify local tourist attractions and informs and guides tourists through natural, cultural and gastronomical heritage of Rerig. In that way, it also serves as a tool to mobilize, connect, educate and empower local entrepreneurs and institutions so they can provide an extraordinary service and get feedback for the future tourism strategy. By creating this application, we are engaging and connecting all the relevant stakeholders in this growing tourist destination with the goal to create a sustainable business and living environment. The model is scalable and applicable to every destination. Immersive experience for the future of tourism. Welcome to Black by Touch, the most unique application in Voivod in a historical and cultural region site. Free for Donald, easy for use, everything by the touch. Accommodation, gastronomy, wild nature, and all of them you can find in our interactive map. Return to medieval city of Bach. In our virtual tour, you will have a chance to return in 15th century and become a citizen of a recreated Bach fortress, speak with the different characters, and find the secret treasure of the Mongol Empire. And if you want to see by online for your friends and family, just put hashtag BBT on our application and everybody can see. You wish to live through all of this in batch? No problem. At our fortress you will find a big solar touch screen panel with application installed on. Free. Easy. Fun. Batch. Bye. Touch. Hello, my name is Corina and I'm a member of the Digital Nomads team from the city of Iași, northeast of Romania, a vibrant and cultural city. The purpose of our project is to develop local economy using tourism as an engine. The digital platform does not address the usual tourists. Our goal is to make Iași the top destination for digital nomads. But why should a digital nomad choose Iași? Because he can li live and um, uh, like a local with locals in a non-mainstream uh, destination. Also, he can be a hero in the community because our project has a unique attribute. The digital nomad can and he will be involved in the local project and has a unique opportunity to be the change he wants to see in our community. Of course, the platform offers information for free regarding all the practical aspects of a digital nomad's life, the accommodation to sports, cultural activities and so on. A premium account with, with access to additional services will be available for a test. I repeat this idea, which is our motto, be the change you want to see in our community. Hello, my name is Miron Konstantin, I'm from Moldova and I'd like to introduce you to eCool Tour, our circular solution for development and improvement of the route of Stephen the Great. It's an innovative, easy to use platform that generates specific uh, touristic experiences based on the preferences of the user that we get from a short photo-based quiz and feedback-based patterns in our database. Uh, because of our artificial intelligence uh, algorithm, you don't have to adapt to a certain uh, route, it gets specifically generated for you. Uh, due to the simplicity of use, this tool allows a permanent feeling of new information and places uh, which were not adding added uh, in the beginning uh, of the conception phase. Uh, this impacts uh, positively the growth of small and medium businesses on the route. Uh, our team is a combination of digitalization uh, and uh, uh, tourism uh, experts, but every single user that contributes to the growth of our database becomes one with our team. Uh, our main challenge is to bring as many visitors to unknown uh, heritage-rich sites uh, on the route of Stephen the Great while having a positive green impact uh, on the environment such as paper-free travel uh, and many more. We make ideas come true. Hi guys, we want to present you Stephen's route site update. Once upon a time, one of the greatest 
ruler existed. His name was Stephen the Great and he was the best Moldovan ruler, 34 out of 36 won battle, most astute European politician and best military strategist. We want the whole world to know about Stephen the Great, therefore we created the first cross-border touristic route between Romania and Republic of Moldova. This is a lesson of history between these two countries and it brings you 9 locations in Moldova and 21 locations in Romania as well as connected infrastructure such as biggest wine collection in the world stated by the Guinness Book Record as well as craftsmanships, eco-pensions and museums. We have created the identity of the route, a dedicated website and now we want to digitalize the Romanian extension. Our positive impact is rural development, tourism and heritage development, as well as preservation and countries promotion. Our motto is Make Stephen Great Again. Hello, my name is Sebastian and I want to present you the Bison Land Heritage Solution. First of all, try to think about um, a place where you can find your roots. 700 years of uninterrupted monastic life, uh, 8,000 years of uh, continuous uh, human presence in the area, bison, wolves and bears living near the local communities. And what join all these things is uh, uh, the, the pathways. So our proposal is how to connect all these uh, interest points of the area using a network of pathways in uh, such a way to, to join somehow the cultural, spiritual and natural aspects of the area. Uh, we want to develop also a treasure hunt uh, application in order to provide a holistic environmental education for children. And also we try to put together food, uh, dance, music, local craftsmen in what we call a local events. So, uh, this is our proposal in order to have this uh, holistic approach for the area and uh, we think uh, our proper motto is pathway to your roots. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the 19 videos and by the way, I failed to inform you that the 76 innovators come from six different pilot heritage sites in Europe. Um, in these days, they were quite excited about the competition and what type of award they might receive. So I'm happy to announce the main award that the 19 teams will receive. So the 19 innovative circular cultural tourism solutions will enter B Culture Acceleration Program, which is offered by ISHEC. The acceleration period will have a duration of four months and it will be carried mostly online, while the last session will take place in person in each pilot heritage site. And um, yes, in each heritage uh, site. <laughs> Uh, I haven't been sleeping lately very much. <laughs> um, so the idea is to making the 19 solutions become more concrete. This is why we asked our juries uh, not to consider uh, heavily the, um, the criterion of viability because we still have time to develop it uh, throughout the coming months. Following the acceleration period, what happens? The best solutions will have the possibility to apply for further support from Biculture project for an amount up to 96,000 in total for the six pilot heritage sites to develop their minimum viable product and test it in real context. So congratulations to everyone. Um, I would like to call on stage our uh, rector, Professor Brigitte Chanwan, who will be delivering the certificates to the participants. I would like to invite on stage also the three teams from Basilicata region.
Okay, so the first team uh, is Cammino Lucano in Vulture, uh, Antonella. First Antonella. Antonella. Oui, oui. Euh, Laure, tu, tu, tu prends les photos <laughs> And maybe all, all the team, yes. Simone. Simone. Irene. And Michele had a flight to take, so I will deliver also his certificate to the team. Thank you very much. Philippe, the coaches, please come on stage. Philippe and the coaches, please, on the stage. Okay. Second solution, triple L, tourism, leave, learn, live. Tiziana. Concetta. Federico. Georgia. Congratulations. And our team, our third team is Fly On Immersivo, Francesco. I would, ha I, was ha I would have never imagined having this team here today. Francesco was never answering my emails or calls and I was freaking out all the time. Giovanni, you made it. <laughs> Nicola. Last but not least, Constantina. Congratulations. Okay. Our next pilot heritage site, the Cultural Park of Rio Martin, Tural Province, Aragon Region, Spain. Please come here. Okay, first solution, echo glamping under the stars. Alberto. <laughs> Alberto Bravo Dina Roberto Niev Congratulations Our next Spanish solution is Aridscape the Wide as Heritage, and I would like to call Ismael. Congratulations. Sergio. <laughs> Raul. Raul. Maria. And you take also Raul's. Congratulations. And our third Spanish team is La Chica Cabeza de Bosque. <laughs> Beatriz. <laughs> Sara. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> and Edurn. Bravo! Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, our next pilot heritage site. Please prepare yourselves. Larnaca Rural Cultural Landscape, Larnaca Region, Cyprus. Oh, sorry, turn that off. Uh, uh, they can't take picture. How to turn that off? Uh, no. Exit. Exit. Le video. Okay. Okay, so the first uh, solution from Larnaca, Sensory B Nature Trail. I would like to call Panayotis. Thank you. Congratulations. Yola. Yes, I'll give them to you. 
The other two members already left, but we will give you the certificate. They were here with us. So congratulations. Our next solution, Needle Festivals. Georgios. Christos. Rania. And George. Okay, our third solution from Larnaca region is Calorori City. I can't spell it. Okay. <laughs> Maria. Hello, it's Calorori City. Calorori City. Alexandros. Stelios. Andreas. Congratulations. Okay, our next pilot heritage site is Forsvik and Rydal Industrial Heritage Sites, Vastra Jutland Region, Sweden. <laughs> Forsvik Scheiss, Kolja. Oui. Yeah! Malin. Linie. <laughs> and Victor, congratulations! <laughs> Our second solution from Vastra Jutland region is Prova Bo Long Term Rentals Lovisa. <laughs> Elizabeth. Lena and Eva, congratulations. Congratulations. Our last solution from Vastra Jutland region, actually it's a collaboration between Vastra Jutland region and Solitaire. So I'm very happy uh, to call the members of Create, Design and Engage. Julia, you're the first. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Anna Karin. And Peter, congratulations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our fifth pilot heritage site is Bach Zremski. Karlovski and Irek in Vojvodonia region, Serbia. <laughs> and we start with Force King 8 per 4 per 4, Avakum. Jelena. Jelena. Vera. Vladimir. <laughs> Our second solution is Cultural Overload Eric Road. Please stay on the stage. Eric Road. And I would like to call Anna. Luli. Dejan and Milika, congratulations! Please stay on the on the stage. Our 
third solution is back by touch, Milan. <laughs> Zorica. <laughs> Branca. <laughs> and Stella. <laughs> Igor, where is Igor? <laughs> okay. So every uh, Pilot Heritage Site coordinator will be giving symbolic awards to their teams. Igor kindly brought his awards with him for every team. So, voila! Voila. <laughs> A lot of goodies and gadgets. Good. Okay, last but not least, our sixth pilot heritage site, the route of Stefan the Great and St. North, East Romania, Moldova cross-border area. And I would like to call all the teams here, starting with Digital Nomads Platform. Bravo! Bravo. Christina, Digital Nomads Platform. Yeah? She's missing, so you will give her the certificate. Anka. <laughs> Mihai. Corina. Ula. Congratulations. <laughs> Since it's, it's a cross-border um, collaboration, they had four solutions, two from Northeast Romania and two from Moldova. <laughs> equal, equal tour, Miron. Ah, we have four, we have, we have, uh, no, it's the Buren. Uh, uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> yes, we have three Mirons, sorry, my, my mistake. Uh, Miron Konstantin. Miron Marina and Nikolai is not there. Yes, you will take it. Next solution, Stefan's root site update, Ion. <laughs> Thank you. Valentin. Irina. And Mehela. Congratulations. Our next solution is the Bizenlands Heritage, and I would like to call Viorela. Gianina. Sebastian.
Anne Nicolet. Congratulations. Can I call Philippe and the coaches, please, for a collective picture? Coaches, please. A wonderful asset. Yes. After, after, okay, after, after. After, after. Now we. No, no. Okay, we announced the main award, which is the most important award, but we have additional symbolic awards, uh, which we would like to give to the five favorite solutions by the five juries. So, um, just to maybe put you into context, we had five juries. Every jury was evaluating two innovation areas. The first jury uh, evaluated sensorial heritage experience and rural co-living experience, and there were four solutions. The second jury evaluated contemporary meaning of heritage and spiritual travel, again, four solutions. The third jury evaluated post-cultural tourism and industrial heritage experience, and there were four solutions. The fourth jury evaluated nature as heritage experience and proximity travel, and there were three solutions, right, Lor? Yes. And the final jury evaluated transformative travel and remote working experiences, and again, four solutions. So I would like to call the chairs to uh, tell us a little bit more about your uh, voted favorite solution by the jury. And then I can announce some additional awards. But maybe before doing this, I would like to ask Gaia or Giampiero, as you know, there was also an online voting and it was incredibly uh, surprising the number of people who voted for your solutions. So maybe Gaia or Giampiero, if you would like just to give us an idea about um, how did it go, who was the most voted solution? Hi, everybody. First of all, congratulations for these three days and for all the effort that you put. Also for the votation, we received a large amount of votes. We, the votes were more than 2,000, in particular 2,083 votes. And, and the most voted solution was back from Vojvodina region, Serbia, with 538 votes. Congratulations. Not me, not me, it's a public vote. Okay, and for this public vote, there's also a surprise. I would like to invite 
Vincent, who will present himself and tell you a little bit more about the symbolic award he would like to propose. Many thanks. So hi guys. If you want the symbolic award. <laughs> so congratulations to you and to everybody because the energy and uh, what you have done is great. So I would like to uh, offer you one coaching session on uh, business modeling and fundraising because after the ideation and the first MVP you need to go to the market and to get to that, to that point. And also invite you to a competition on art tech and culture tech that will happen later uh, in Switzerland. So we will be our guest for this event. Congrats again. Congrats to all of you. Uh, thank you a lot. I know this uh, goes live on YouTube, so I wish to say a few words. It's a little hard to thanks to all people from Baj and uh, Greece and uh, Macedonia, Turkey that uh, voted for us today. Hvala vam svima i vidimo se za sutra u Srbiji. Spremite balkon. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so, okay. We start very quickly. I know everyone is tired, so we will start very quickly to announce the most favorite solution of every jury. Um, I was, I happened to um, be the chair of the first jury. Unfortunately, I was not very much present Psychologi psychologically, because I was following up on videos not being uploaded, people asking me when is the coffee break, other people asking me about a video, and I was like, Rrr. so I was not even able to uh, make simple calculations. So, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, in order to have a more lucid evaluation, I would like to invite our juror, Kiran McCarthy, who is member of the SEDEC Commission for Social Policy, Education, Employment, Research and Culture of the European Committee of the Regions, to tell you what was the most favorite uh, solution and what is the symbolic a word that he is actually offering to this solution. Please welcome Kiran. Uh, hi to everyone. Uh, you'll hear my accent. I'm from the south of Ireland. I'm from a city called Cork, uh, but I'm a member of uh, the European Committee of the Regions, and I'm a, I'm a city councillor from where I'm where I'm from. Um, just on, on behalf of the jury members on uh, jury number one, I feel like it's in a courtroom or something like that. <laughs> that that everyone was found guilty, and that the crimes were against humanity. Uh, in this case, they weren't against humanity, and I, I'd like to congratulate um, the four teams that came into us. Um, this symbolic award that the Committee of the Regions is giving, uh, and if you never heard of the European Committee of the Regions, it's an assembly of local mayors and councillors and regional parliamentarians. It's an official EU body that, res that reports to the European Commission. So the prize actually is to give a presentation at one of the Committee of the Regions cultural seminars coming up in early November. So you get to address people who do have money, who do have ideas and will be interested in, in, in your idea. Uh, we had four teams that came into us. Uh, one was Triple L Tourism, one was Sensory B Nature Trail, one was Create, Design and Engage, and then we had uh, Frisking 8 by 4 by 4 which was the, the, the box uh, project. Um, all of our teams um, they spoke outside of the box. Um, I had some really, really good ideas. I think all of our feedback is that keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and can I say to all of you in the room, um, there is an onus on you now to go back with all the ideas you got and all the encouragement to go back to your regions uh, and to use that information. And that's what this project is about. And I'd like to sincerely thank Ruba and her team uh, for putting this project together. It's no easy task to actually to win a Horizon 2020 call. No mind actually bring loads of people from across Europe into one space. Um, so 
Are you doing the announcement or am I doing the announcement? The name of the team uh, is the Sensory Bee Nature Trail. <laughs> Who are from Larnaca in Cyprus. Good reaction from the crowd there. <laughs> Okay, so may I call Christian? No. First, Frederic. Yes. So, Frederic will be presenting the jury about post cultural tourism and industrial heritage experience. Okay. Hello, Brussels. What a show you put on these three days. <laughs> or am I in the wrong show now? <laughs> so, um, thank you very much for uh, the presentations we had uh, in uh, our jury. We really enjoyed uh, what uh, you were trying to solve. Uh, we, we had a nice discussion afterwards. But finally, our favorite is, and can I have a quick drum roll, please? And our favorite is Forsvix Chase from Sweden. Okay, for this team, the award is provided by Hostel World Group, is a leading online travel agent focused on the hosteling category with a well-known trusted brand, over 13.7 million reviews and a loyal customer base built uh, up over 22 years. And the award is the attendance at Hostel World Conference 2023, including flight, hostel stay, local experience. Okay, may I call Christian now? Okay, so for the jury two, first I had a fantastic jury. So <laughs> this is one, and when you get a fantastic jury, members of the jury, you can't expect anything else than have fantastic also projects to be presented. So we had four terrific projects, one from Basiliki, Kita, Kata, the, the second one from uh, Serbia, the one from Moldova, and one from Romania. And all of the, the, the projects were wonderful, but just imagine that you get a website platform, you click on it, and by clicking on it, you create an incredible journey. You, uh, you, you drink fantastic wine, and you get fantastic uh, natural, cultural resource, tangible and tangible, sustainable, everything that you can believe and, and dream, dream of. So that was the best of the team, and the name of the project is Stephen's Root Visa Update. So, since, since we speak about innovations, um, your award is kindly provided by Horizon 2020 Project Elucidare Special Prices. Uh, and Professor Kuhn van Balen is here representing the project. Kuhn, yes. <laughs> Elucidare Special Prizes awarded within the Europe European Heritage Awards, Europa Nostra Awards. These projects are compelling demonstrations of heritage-led innovation and international relations. The Elucidare Special Prizes are supported by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program, in addition to the European Union's Creative Europe Program for Culture and the Audiovisual Sectors, which supports the European Heritage Awards and Europea, uh, Euro Europa Nostra Awards. Your award is access to the network of the winners of Elucidare Special Prizes. Congratulations. Okay. Bravo! May I call Friedrich? Uh, yeah, Friedrich. Lor, Lor or uh, 
Laurent. Lor? Lor. So the fourth jury evaluated nature as heritage experience and proximity travel. Hello everyone. So in our jury, the discussion were very interesting. I thank the jury for their um, uh, feedback after the presentation. The presentation, well, the three of them were great. We had two presentations from Spain and one from Cyprus. And uh, after uh, the, the feedback given by the jury, they said that it would be great to have a, um, a chat with the members, so to, to, to share with them and maybe to have a deeper feedback, feedback on their project. Uh, the, um, the favorite solution was eco glamping under the stars. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Alberto, please. Um, so um, we are here for the, letting you what was the prize. So uh, Francesca and I work from Erin. There is a, a European research, uh, Regions Research Innovation Network here in Brussels. Uh, we are a network about research innovation and we have more than 120 members and the prize is actually to uh, be the keynote speaker the, the, the one of the upcoming uh, events with the, our uh, cultural heritage and tourism uh, working group members. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> may not be. Uh, you, will, you will meet. Uh, you will meet our working group leaders from different regions in Europe, uh, and you will be invited as a keynote speaker in one of the upcoming meeting to the whole community of Erring, actually, and all the members. So possibly your solution will be well known around Europe. So <laughs> this is the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Laurent, it's your turn. Our fifth jury examined trans transformative travel and remote working experience. So thank you, everybody. Uh, it is not an easy position for me here being between you and the drinks, but I won't make it a, a long moment. Uh, the four projects were really interesting. Uh, we had um, the Aridscape, Calosorisete, it means welcome, it's easier if I say welcome, Digital Nomads and Ecultur. The four projects were really interesting, interesting elements in it, uh, but yeah, we had to, to choose one. And this one was really interesting because it combined rural development with experience of local people, uh, presentation was good, team was good, so Therefore, we choose that team, and, and unfortunately for me, it's the most difficult to pronounce, Calosorisete. Thank you, Laurent. <laughs> okay, I will not try to pronounce it again. Uh, uh, on the contrary, I will call my colleague Gosha from Iclay, who will explain uh, what is Iclay Breakfast at Sustainability, also because your award is to provide a keynote speech at Breakfast at Sustainability of Iclay. Thank you very much. So congratulations, and uh, ICLE is a global um, network, local governments for sustainability, committed to the sustainable development and enhancing change and providing sustainable solutions for cities, small cities, medium cities, and large cities as well. So we'll be more than happy to welcome you at our breakfast at sustainability, which is a proven format taking place in Brussels, and you will be delivering a keynote speech on your solution, your vision, your experience, and the development of the solutions you have proposed for Biculture. And this will be an opportunity to meet a task force established by Biculture Project, fostering the positive, sustainable change towards circular cultural tourism. Congratulations and see you soon.
Congratulations. It's your turn. It's my turn. Yes. Did you have a good time? Yes. Did you enjoy it? Yes. So I would like to call all the coaches to come on the stage, Wuba first, and that you give them a huge applause. <laughs> Christian, Philippe, Laurent, come all of you. Frédéric, Laura, where is she? Come on, come on. They're coming, they're coming. Yeah, you too, Uba. And you will take the picture because Laura will not take the picture. Laura, Adria, come on. Come on, come on. And you know, Ruba, 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 we would like to thank you. <laughs> I think she deserves it. <laughs> Thank you to all of you. Laura, come here for the picture. <laughs> Who takes a picture? Someone takes a picture of them. And Laura is, will be on the picture. Here he is. And you send to Wuba. Here we are. And after these, those three days at Ishek, we invite you for the last drink to celebrate that. Maintenant, tous ceux qui ont des questions, tu nous les envoies.